hello everybody and welcome to a new tiny sketchbook video. Today we're going to paint with gouache and play around with markers a bit at the end of this video. I realized I hadn't painted pink leopards for a while, so I decided to start with that. I used a red pencil to make a rough sketch and it turned out a little bit too intensive, I guess, but I didn't worry at that point uh, if it would be visible when I started painting. I wanted to sketch a leopard surrounded by various tropical foliage and I wanted to keep it pretty messy in general. I used Talon's gouache uh, and I like it so much because it has pretty nice texture. I wanted the leopard to be surrounded by a thick background without wide gaps, so I started with some dark background areas in a super random way. Truth be told, I didn't pay attention to details and accuracy, aiming for a messy and sketchy look. Usually I work with a thicker consistency, but this session was more experimental. I didn't have much control over my brush strokes, so I decided to go with the flow to see where it would lead me. I enjoyed mixing various random greens and applying them randomly too. Sometimes I got completely lost in my sketch, <laughs> but that was completely fine because I didn't expect any accuracy from it. hero of the sketch, the leopard. I used the same technique uh, as I used on the leaves, keeping it messy, and I'm not even sure if I can name it technique. <laughs> with how the sketch turned out. I believe there is something very childish and naive about this style. And while painting this sketch, I, I just thought that it might be very interesting to transfer this style to a huge canvas. What do you think? Mm -hmm. 
This video is sponsored by my Patreon. Here are some things you can find there. Color exploration posts for your inspiration, tutorials, my textured brush set for Procreate, long process videos, digital art prints, exclusive sketches, and more. I would be happy to see in my tiny creative community. <laughs> There's no pressure, of course. Thank you so much for your attention, and now let's get back to the video. Well, I got super inspired by the previous sketch, so I decided to paint the next one using the same technique. I think I will never get bored painting tomatoes. <laughs> Tomato is my favorite vegetable, by the way. Sweet tomato with salt. Mm. It is the taste of summer for me. While you're watching me sketching this whimsical tomato branch, write in the comments what your favorite vegetable is. I quickly sketched a tomato branch and then started filling it with gouache. I believe there's always a place for playfulness, mistakes and mess in a sketchbook. Sometimes when I work in my sketchbook, I feel, I don't know, I feel a bit closer to my inner child. For the last sketch, I chose to play around with markers. I started with a playful, thick pencil sketch. I love the effect of red pencil lines being visible under the markers, because markers are semi-transparent. art markers, which are my absolute favorite at this point. I use ones with a brush tip uh, that is very soft and flexible at the same time, so by using this tip you can create super thin lines and at the same time to cover larger areas, like some sort of background areas, etc. By the way, spoiler alert, lovely guys from Ahuhu recently sent me a big set of markers to test and yeah, stay tuned for a detailed review, I think that it's going to be probably my next YouTube video.
At the end, I decided to add more pencil shadows and some silver magic. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. I'd love to know which sketch you liked more. Thank you one more time and see you in the next video. Bye-bye!